Hi, I'm Brett Hoover, and with me today is Dr. Amit Basanji, Chief Technology Officer at ImageIQ. Today we will be discussing a solution that ImageIQ developed for a pharmaceutical company that was developing a new gene therapy. The client was trying to measure transfection efficiency of a target gene in 2D cell culture. They were frustrated by the lack of speed, the imprecision, and the variability of their manual scoring and flow cytometry techniques. So the team at ImageIQ developed a custom software solution for them. In this case study, we will discuss some of the challenges faced by the engineers and what the result was. So admit, the first challenge you mentioned was finding a way to image and analyze the entire cell culture surface rather than simply looking at a limited field of view which is generally afforded to us when we look through a, a microscope during manual scoring. How did you accomplish this? So we utilized a technique called large field of view image acquisition. This type of imaging requires a wide field microscope fitted with a motorized stage. With this hardware setup, we can raster scan across an entire cell culture surface area on a slider or well and stitch together high magnification image tiles. The result is a very high resolution image that provides the detail necessary for accurate image segmentation and analysis. Okay, so once you've done that, you've got your large field of view image, how do you go about identifying all the cells? To identify each and every cell, we have to stain for a common marker. In this case, we chose DAPI, which is a nuclear marker for DNA. Unfortunately, each cell, depending on its location in the cell cycle, its environment, etc., can have varying intensities following staining, making application of a global threshold for segmentation ineffective. To compensate, we utilize equalization filters in our analysis uh, algorithms to account for staining variability. We also applied cell separation filters to ensure that accurate cell counts were made in the regions where cells were clumped together. So once you've identified all the cells, you still have to figure out which of these cells has been successfully transfected, right? That's correct. In this case, the transfection marker is a red cytoplasmic fluorophore, whereas our cell marker for all cells is nuclear. So by using various morphological filters, we grew our segmented nuclear mass such that their boundaries extended into the cytoplasm while still ensuring that there was adequate cell separation. Applying these new masks to the transfection channel, we can ac accurately determine positive and negative cells. So far this makes a lot of sense. That said, I know for a fact that flow cytometry is a very popular high content screening method among our pharmaceutical and research clients. Can you help me understand why in this particular case the image IQ approach was better? So flow cytometry requires that the cells are in suspension for analysis. Unfortunately, a number of adherent cell lines only produce proteins while attached to a cell culture surface. So analysis in situ using large field of view imaging analysis is the most appropriate method of analysis. Additionally, cell clumping and apoptotic debris can often skew flow cytometry data. These artifacts can be accounted for and removed with adherent cell culture analysis. Thanks, Amit. Once this custom solution was in place, our client then realized that they could make substantial improvements in their transfection yield by simply adjusting their protocols. Since the custom software analyzed the entire cell culture surface data, they were relying on much more comprehensive and accurate data to guide their studies and decision making. Just as important, this client saw a 90% improvement in the time required to generate quantitative transfection data. What originally took them two weeks now only required a single day. Well, that wraps up this brief review of how ImageIQ helped one of its pharmaceutical clients improve the speed and precision of their gene therapy development. If you found this case helpful and would like to see others, please visit our website or give us a call. Thank you for your time.